Good morning and welcome to the Ministry of Christ Church. Today I would like to teach on humility. I'm going to be reading from Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 through 11. But before that, I would like to give you the biblical definition of humility. Humility, the absence of pride or self-assertion, being conscious of one's defects or shortcomings, modesty, recognition of the equality of, of one's fellow man. The essential feature of this quality is that there is no vanity in the person, even with regards to his clothing. But it is also important that he understand that true humility leads to the strength of self-respect and honor. Self-humiliation or disregarding oneself or causing oneself to lose pride and dignity uselessly or without reason or warrant. So you have to have humility, but you don't have to self-humiliate yourself, okay? There is a fine line there. Um, so yes, be humble, but don't be humble to the point where you're that doormat for everybody to walk over. That's not what it's talking about. Okay, so now I'd like to flip over to page, I mean over to page, I'm going to tell you the page of my Bible, um, 175 New Testament. For you, it depends on what Bible you're studying. I'm studying from the Holy Bible, the uh, um, authorized King James Version. Okay, and it says, chapter 2, If there be, therefore, any um, consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye will be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vanity, but through loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought not, not robbery, but equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the kindness, the likeness of man and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto, until death, even the death on the cross. Therefore, God hath God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name. That the name of Jesus, every knee, that in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, the things in heaven, the things in earth, and the things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, the glory of God the Father. Okay, so. What is that saying to you exactly? Well, if you look at life as a common person, as an average person, not being rich, not being poor, not being famous, just being an everyday person who's living their everyday life as an everyday worker, going to church on Sunday, then what you have to say is, do I have false pride? Am I really being Christ-like? Do I let that person in when I'm in a hurry and I know I'm late for work because I didn't get up on time? Am I letting that person in because they may be late for work? They may not be on time either? Or am I rushing forward and saying, well, you can just get behind me? It's hard to do that because Human nature wants to take care of oneself first instead of taking care of others that are around you as well as yourself. Um, opening the door for someone versus, even if they're your age, 
versus go opening the door and saying, hi, have a good day. Open the door and say, here, please go ahead. You know, those little everyday things are, humili are, are what make you humble. And being humble um, in Christ's eyes is a good thing because that means you're not just self-centered, you're others-centered as well. And that's the way you want to go through life is being others-centered. Centered, not to the point, like I said, that you're a carpet, that you're a rug, that you are um, de degrading yourself, but just in, just in general, be the person who's humble enough to say, it's okay, no big deal, I can go on. Now, if you read, flip with me over to um, 1 Peter 5.5, 5, it will tell you, uh, and besides this, giving all diligence and add to your faith virtue, and virtue is knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. Okay, so that should be your everyday uh, mantra for how you would say your, um, just your, your you. Um, I don't know how to call it any other way, but it's your you. Uh, and then, so then I want to flip over to Acts, and I don't like flipping, but um, when you can see the, the thread throughout the Bible that it is all about being humble, you'll take a look at not only yourself, uh, to see how humble you are, but you'll also start being aware of others and how you can be other-centered. But I want you most important to start looking into the Bible about hum being um, humble. And when you have humbleness, you gain knowledge. And with knowledge comes grace and mercy. And if you can get those four, and not lose it because as humble as you are, it just takes that long to lose it. One time being upset instead of being understanding. And you don't lose it forever, of course, but it's just that if you are Christ-like, I mean, no one is perfect. Christ was the only perfect man who walked on earth, but to even come close to that um, is humbling enough. But even to come close to that and know that you have, are gaining his wisdom and to know that you are gaining his, um, gaining his knowledge and, and um, his grace and mercy is just an awesome thing. So anyway, it's Acts 20, 19 through 21. And it says, serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptations which befall me befell me by the lie, by waiting, by lying in wait for the Jews. And no, I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you, but have shown you and have taught you publicly and from house to house, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. So as you venture into the day, it's okay. One of my kids said to me, I would like to just take five minutes of my morning and just reflect on how my day is going to be and I'll reflect on how God and Jesus Christ can help me through my day. And I thought, you know, we get up in such a hurry that if we could just, as another friend of mine said off our, her Facebook, if we could just take time to take that walk and just not be in so much of a hurry, but just enjoy what you have today and just be humble enough to appreciate all those things that are around you. And before I leave today, I just want to say two things. First of all, thank you for coming, and we'll be back again next week. But second of all, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you really need to get to a church that is a living, growing church and teaching from the Word of God. And you need to ask Jesus to come into your heart. And you need to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. And you need to know that 
you need to repent your sins and that once you repent your sins, they are forgiven. So now you need to forgive yourself. Okay, so if you need to pray that prayer, please feel free to contact me at ministryofchristchurch.org. It's Sandra at ministryofchristchurch.org. And someone will get back with you um, to help you get through that. Okay, until then, have a humble and nice day.